Should you carry water when you run? Well, there is a body of evidence, a significant body of evidence that shows that dehydration of around two to three percent, which isn't a huge amount, can lead to a significant drop in performance, but it can also lead to issues like cognitive uh, behavior and decision making, which, you know, if you're on something like an ultra marathon or a marathon, you know, particularly an ultra where maybe you're up in the mountains or running, you know, along a canal or a, or a, or a body of water, the last thing you want to be doing is having issues with decision making. Uh, particularly if you are t- targeting a time. So, for example, if you're going for a particular time at a marathon or half marathon uh, or even an ultra marathon, then you need to be making sure that you are hydrating really well. Now, that will differ from person to person. And one of the easiest ways to work out what your uh, required amount of water is, is to weigh yourself before you go for a run. And then once you've come back, weigh yourself again, minus off any water that you've taken on board or gels that you've taken on board or any food. And what's the difference in weight? And you're talking about roughly one gram being one mil. So if you've lost a kilo on a run, then you've lost a litre of water. That can sound like a lot, but it is super important to keep yourself hydrated, even when it's a short run and the weather is glorious like this. We love this weather, but keep yourself hydrated, folks.